Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are really well, having a great week. So today I wanted to talk to you about all my favorite hair products, hair care, hair dyes, stuff I use on my hair. I get a lot of questions about the color that I put on my hair. I dye my own hair. Um, I no longer actually go to the hairdressers at all, which I know people are gonna be, you know, shocked and horrified i used to go and have my color and i used to have it cut like every six to eight weeks like you're supposed to i was a very good girl but money and time i mean if i'm gonna go and have my hair colored at the hairdressers and cut and blow dried and all that stuff it i could be there for three or more hours and i just rarely have three or more hours so yeah i'm going to be talking you through all my favorite products all my favorite brands and everything you need to know about what i like to put on my head I mean let's just get started so first up shampoo and conditioner the basics the standard care care I am a sniffer I don't buy anything until I've sniffed it I just like to get all up in there and I don't know if you're really supposed to do that but I, I don't care I have to smell stuff and a lot of my decisions especially when it comes to hair care it's based on the sniff test I just want my hair to smell nice so these are the Umberto Giannini which is probably my favorite hair care brand at the moment beach care coconut oil shampoo and conditioner so it doesn't necessarily say it's for a particular hair type but it does say is that it is lots of moisturizing ingredients it's all about softness hydrating and nourishing your hair so my hair i mean it's not so bad now it used to be really damaged i used to dye my hair i mean i still dye my hair all the time but i used to bleach it a lot and lighten it a lot and get highlights and things like that so my hair was very very dry it's definitely got a lot better now that i'm just sort of using semi-permanent non sort of lightening dyes and um, so yeah so i just kind of always gravitate towards the moisturizing hydrating kind of products i don't really use like color care stuff i know there's lots of color care shampoos i don't really use those particularly like i don't really necessarily feel like they're going to make that much of a difference and when i'm doing it at home anyway as soon as it's like faded beyond what i'm happy with i just do it again because it is really affordable what i've noticed about these is that my hair just seems a lot cleaner so i only wash my hair like once or twice a week and i really feel like Previously, when I've been using shampoos, but I get a lot of oil in my hair and I feel like I'm having to use dry shampoo after like two days. But this gives me an extra day of like acceptable hair. It doesn't wear anything down. I feel like my hair, I mean, my hair is quite flat if I haven't got loads of volume, but this has definitely given me more, like more life to my hair. I never blow dry my hair. I just leave it to dry naturally, which obviously can make it like sort of goes a bit limper than if I put a load of air through it um but yeah i just feel like it's given me a bit more bounce and like life to my hair it just definitely to me it doesn't look as flat as it did before i found these would highly recommend and of course they smell beautiful of coconut so it's all boxes ticked do you have a favorite cup because this is my favorite cup it's really just a really good size that's why i like it i like how fat it is and it holds a good cup and it's got a wicked witch on it which i enjoy i feel like if i go to the cupboard for my morning coffee and my favorite cup is in there ready and clean for use it's going to be a good day so next up we will talk about my favorite dry, dry shampoo this has recently gazumped my tony and guy one this is the umberto giannini shower in a bottle i love dry shampoo like i said i rarely wash my hair like once or twice a week i really need a good dry shampoo this one for me is a foam rather than you know a spray so you squeeze a bit into your hand and massage it through i've got a whole review on this which i will link down below it's just it smells gorgeous and it actually makes your hair feel like you've washed it. It isn't just, you know, powdering away the grease. It literally actually refreshes your hair, which I haven't found in a dry shampoo before. It doesn't dull your hair. It doesn't leave a residue like dry shampoos often do. It just literally feels like you've washed your hair. That's like how it, it, it restores your hair. This bad boy, again, Umberto Giannini, supermodel shape, flawless hold styling spray. I'm not gonna to talk too much about it because apparently it has been discontinued, but I do have like a fair bit left and it is one of my all time favorite products. Basically you shake it into like, shake it? Come on. 
So it's kind of like a um, heat protecting spray with hold. What I like to do is like spray it through my roots and it really gives me good sort of lift. It's almost like a dry shampoo with holes. So it kind of gives you some volume, but it keeps your hair like soft. It doesn't go all crispy and it's just really good for sort of giving you a bit of lift and oomph to roots especially if you're doing something like um you know a messy bun or if you're doing a swept back look to give yourself some body at the crown this is really good for that it smells glorious um yeah amazing i'm going to be looking for a replacement so i'll let you know when i find something as good Another heat protecting spray, this literally just does what it says on a tin, a heat protector. So this is from L'Oreal, the Elnet range. This is the volume spray. I don't necessarily agree that it gives me particularly any volume, but it is a really nice smelling product. Am I just telling you everything that smells nice? It does stop hair like getting ironed flat and dead, if you see what I mean. It stops all the flyaways or any kind of, you know, sticking up and baby hairs and stuff like that. It keeps everything soft and smooth. So I, this is what I use if I'm going to straighten my hair. I always put this one on first. If I am curling my hair, I use the GHD Curl Hold Spray. This is amazing. You basically spray this section by section as you're curling your hair, and it's supposed to hold the curl for longer, which I need, because my hair, this is my hair, just like air dried naturally. You can see it's got like basically nothing about it. So if I want, you know, beachy, wavy curls, then I go in with this, and it literally will mean that they'll stay, and obviously they drop a little bit over a couple of days, but they'll stay like, from a curl to a wave and then to like a beachy look over a couple of days, it really does add a huge amount of longevity to your curls and waves. And you know what else I'm gonna say? Smells amazing. And this video is making me feel like some kind of scent pervert. Hairspray, of course it's L'Oreal Elnet. I don't think I'll ever use another hairspray. It's so good, it's so affordable. This is the normal strength one. I like that it doesn't make your hair crispy. It's just very easy to use. And I always like to think that this is quite travelable size as well. Travelable? Travel? Travel? It can give you a really strong hold, but if you're wanting more something like more flexibility for like a, a more like down, down do. Up, oh, what's the opposite of up do? Up do, down do. I've never heard anyone say down do. One of my like kind of go-to hairstyles if I'm going out is like a slicked back wet look do. Is the VO5, what is, what is happening today? I'm having a disaster. This is the VO5 Mega Hold Weather Resistant Gel Spray. So this is a gel spray. Done. I use this a few different ways. So the first way, when I'm on holiday, I slick my hair back like so tight, like if I'm out in the sun sunbathing, going to the pool on the beach and I'll do like a top knot and I'll spray this all over because there's nothing worse than getting hair, feeling hairs all day and I literally like soak all my hair around the front and at the back and then comb it and it will be like a rock. Nothing is moving, it's there for the whole day, love it. The other way I use this is if I'm doing like a slicked back wet look this is all you need for that. So I have such little time to do my hair. I, hardly, I never do my hair unless I'm going out. I never do anything to it. I air dry it every, every time I wash it. Nothing else happens. But it is quite unusual for me to actually have time to like do a whole thing to my hair. And if I try, usually it goes wrong anyway. So one of my favourite things to do is to slick my hair back into like a, you know, a slick back wet look, whatever it's supposed to be called. So this is all you need for that. Like I could literally take my hair now, just brush it back and then soak it with this, fingers through, and it will look like a poor man's Kardashian. I get a lot of questions about my hair color and I used to like change it up a huge amount. Like literally every time I went, I would just pick like the sort of red or plum dark colour, whichever one I took my fancy. Over the past like six months or so, I've really got stuck on one because it is my favourite and that... That is this L'Oreal Casting Creme Gloss. It's in the shade Black Cherry, which is 360. 
I just love it. It's really easy. It gets rid of any greys. It doesn't last a huge amount of time, which is fine because it is a semi-permanent, so it's got no ammonia. Um, it says it lasts up to 28 shampoos. Definitely not. Um, this is like one wash, and I would say like when I first do it, it is like quite black, and it is quite sort of dark still now. Um, but it has, I would say, it fades every time that you wash it. For me, it probably lasts about three or four weeks before like, I, I want to do it again, um, which to me would only be sort of eight or nine shampoos, but obviously I do go swimming most weeks as well. So maybe we'll say it lasts 15 like washing type of things. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's very easy to use. I like the kit that you get with it. It's very easy and mess free. I don't feel like it goes everywhere. It comes with gloves and things like that. It's all very simple, straightforward. Only needs 20 minutes on the hair. I tend to leave it for like 30 because I like to live on the edge, but also because I have quite a lot of greys in my parting that I just want to make sure they're covered. I just think it's a really nice shade. And I also think like, obviously, because it, it is semi-permanent, it does fade. But but when it fades, I still really like it. So it goes from like being really black with like a hint of red, and then it just fades to sort of a reddish brown color, which I really like as well. It's, and last but not least, this is my Garnier Express Retouch, and I have the shade Dark Brown. So if I haven't got around to like dyeing my hair again or just getting a new box dye, then this is my favorite thing for just touching up roots. My hair seems to grow really quickly, although it never gets any longer. Work that one out. So my regrowth starts to show really quickly. This is what it looks like. Again, I've got a whole review on this product, which I'll link below if you want to see it in action. But it's just got a really big sponge. It's very quick and easy to use just to quickly dot around your hairline if you're doing a scrape back bun and your roots are showing through. It has a good few colours as well. So hopefully there's one. Obviously this is dark brown. It hasn't got any red or anything like that, but it's fine for me because my obviously my natural hair doesn't have the red in it. So the roots you know just kind of blend in it's very easy to wash out it doesn't get, like transfer or anything like that really affordable and just a nice little size as well this one doesn't smell of anything so there you go something snuck through and that is all my favorite hair bits products dyes etc that is pretty much everything i use anything outside of this rarely gets touched i might have bought some things thinking i was going to use them but I really don't. Now I'm going to run off because it is hotter than an absolute day in hell today. So I'm going to go and sit in a breeze somewhere and just let myself melt. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe before you go so I can see you again. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.